One of the things that I've, you know, I've seen this film twice already and I plan to see it again, and one of the things that always strikes me because it's so unusual for a film, and you guys have referenced it already, but I wanted to ask you specifically, this is a film that doesn't tip its hand in terms of who Ailish is going to end up with. Uh, most films, even if there's a rivalry, the film tells you who she's going to go with, and this film does not tell you that. And I just wondered how much that was on your mind and how you managed to do it that way. It was very very much on my mind, right, all the way through. Um, firstly, in casting, for a start, that we had to, to cast two uh, sort of opposite guys who believably would represent different versions of, of life. And Donald was the first piece of casting, and, and we were lucky to get Donald because um, it's, it's a, he's very busy, and it's, <laughs> and it's, in a way, it's almost a thankless role, but not in his hands. He's, he's yes. given Jim such a seriousness and a dignity and an emotional depth with such little material that, you know, because the film does a very odd thing, of course. It, you know, we spend the first half an hour working on, on her loneliness, then she gets happy for a while and, and, and meets the charming Italian-American plumber, and then we park it, and then bring in an Irish guy, and you can feel audiences occasionally going, you have got to be kidding me, <laughs> you know? And within about three scenes, where it's sort of game on, you know? Yeah, so, yeah. so balancing that was, very, very tough, because you don't really have a film if you don't have that. And the, and the nature of the material is such that it always wants to gently subvert where you think it could go if it's tipping towards melodrama. So if you, ha you had to play this delicate role, how, would, how did you do it? I could completely empathize with and, and justify her being on the fence, or not yeah. even being on the fence, but feeling that, that pull towards yes. home yes. when it came to him, yeah. you know? And it was him and it was his sincerity and the fact that he he wasn't just like one of the other rugby boys, do you know no, what I mean, that no, she gave yeah, out about. He, yeah, he wanted yeah. more and he has dreams and he's, he's a smart guy and he knows what his situation yeah, is and he's yeah. humble and, and that was attractive to her, you know, and, and I could completely understand that. So I think, you know, it really is as simple as, you know, when you've got a great piece of writing where it's all kind of written out in front of you. All you have to do is feel it, you know? Yeah. And so um, we've all had that feeling of being pushed and pulled yeah. in one direction or another. And as, y as you said, so often in films we see someone in the situation where it's like, do I end up with the good guy or the <laughs> bad guy? You know, <laughs> you're going to end up with the good guy. You're going to be with the bad guy for a while and then you're going to yeah. end up with the good guy. Whereas with this, they're both terrific they're both, people yeah. and they both yeah. offer her these kind of wonderful lives.